freaking slide. Come do anything. Oh god, what the frick is this? They're redirecting you to a goddamn mobile website. Oh god. Stay here, stop me. Okay, okay, okay. Just uh, let me explain. So, hello everybody, my name is GGYT, and I'm a tech nerd, and I'm basically a 15-year-old. Who has zero brain cells and doesn't know anything about YouTube algorithms. And essentially, in today's video, we're going to do something a bit more different compared to my other usual content. Bro, what are you talking about, man? But, anyway, in today's video, we're going to try something else, which is running modern web browsing software on goddamn windows x yes that software which released back in 2001 which is like 14 years from now or something but anyway windows xp had its charm and since windows xp is a bit of like a tinkering software to say least for me it would be a really great idea to just test out what modern web browsing can be capable of doing uh, in 2020 and so Let's kick off, and right now I'm on my Macintosh desktop because I'm a 15 year old and I doesn't know, don't know anything about uh, Windows computers, but essentially we're going to run it on a virtual machine such as Parallels. And right now it's loading, and as you can see, we're inside Windows XP, baby. It takes like two seconds to load, and... Yes, this infamous startup animation. So. Without further ado, right now, as you can see on my desktop, it's really a bit tinny to say at least because uh, really I'm using a high DPI screen on my iMac. But essentially, what we're going to do right now is we are going to run these three folders right here. So you can see just pretty much snapped. But... Uh, as you can see right now, we have all the three web browsers we're going to demonstrate. And let's start off with a fairly, fairly simple one, which is MyPal, which is, in my opinion, one of the most popular Windows XP uh, modern web browsers you can use in 2024. And essentially, MyPal is uh, a web browser which is based on Mozilla. So uh, Mozilla's Firefox or something. And if we take a look at their GitHub repository, yes, there's a new one for some reason. It is uh, Fire, it's my pal 68.13.8b. Yes, these are, these are really, really, really fun type of things. And I believe it runs uh, on, yes, Firefox 68, which if we right now copy and paste it in into our art browser, you can see it was released back then in 2019, so it's not really that new. <laughs> Essentially, it's basically five years old this year, but it is capable of enough to run uh, modern web browsing. So right now we're turning back into Windows XP and uh, we're going to just essentially run it, shall we? Here we are. Here is the all of the MyPal interface. and. For those who uh, think it looks like Firefox, yes, it definitely looks like Firefox because it is, yes, running off Firefox 69 and its UI looks very, very similar. However, there are some tweaks, for example, I believe all the telemetry, which is used to send like data to Mozilla or something, has been removed. Plus, uh, essentially, there was limited uh, extension support. However, uh, you can run modern extensions of Firefox, for example, uBlock Origin, which blocks off YouTube adverts fairly simple. Uh, let's just demonstrate how things work. For example, let's go into Wikipedia, shall we? And if we take a look, then everything looks like the, uh, like basically uh, all the uh, necessary articles just loading perfectly and they're pretty much like, uh, there's a couple of like, uh, lag however this is most likely based on the virtual machine okay however uh, one one place where it's uh, just basically necessity to use like modern web browsers uh is uh, running youtube and if we run youtube it takes like a couple of oh god this takes really slow time to load however right as you can see everything loaded don't mind the uh the really trashy recommendation section but uh, let's try to load in the video, shall we? For example, uh, yes, I'm a fucking football soccer fan, everybody. I love Ronaldo Messi. <laughs> it's so, we are going to, uh, test that on a Liverpool video. It's the dress so, rehearsal as you can for see, the it, League oh Cup God, final. It's really laggy. Or... In just under a month's uh, time. To bear in mind, it runs on HD. It runs on, I believe, 1080p 50. 
Holy shit, it's freaking slow. I can't do anything. Okay. Uh, yes, that's why I don't use Windows XP. <laughs> and so, as you can see, another technical bug, a glitch to say least, is that the whole video doesn't fill up the container for the video so you can see that blank spot. I don't really know if it's used for basically all other stuff here, but essentially it is really slow. And yes, it's, you saw the playback uh, was little... laggy. The scrolling on the web page takes is really, really laggy. So, uh, yeah, spoiler alert, not my boss is great, but for example, running off from uh, Windows XP isn't really the best option to say at least. And so uh, what we came up with is the second web browser we're going to attempt to, to run today, which is called Chameleon. And yeah, this isn't Chameleon or something, but anyway, Chameleon is basically another web browser for Windows XP. And if we load it on, load it on my main art browser, you can see Chameleon, the browser you can control. Sounds like a bit of sci-fi things or something, but anyway, it is uh, for Win32 operating system. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, Windows XP has a 64-bit version, so I don't really know what is there. But essentially, Chameleon is, uh, is different based on that it runs uh, on Guana Engine, which is basically a fork of Gecko, which is used to run. Uh, Firefox, the older versions of Firefox, and the latest version was released back in 2021, so it's about our three years old this year, and to say the least, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of fun here, so uh, let's run Chameleon, shall we, and let's see how things are going to turn out. Chameleon wasn't closed properly. Shit, I didn't even open it! Uh, yeah, welcome. This is uh, Chameleon start page. It's uh, running DogDogGo, the most infamous private browser, which isn't really a private. Essentially, uh, what is special about Chameleon is that it has so it has a sidebar. And yes, it's right squeezed from the tabs and from the web address. We have tons of options. For example, we can block web images if you're freaking HTTPM uh, uh, JavaScript nerd that you can block Java, JavaScript, cookies. Pop up system, it even has a kill switch in case if your Wi Fi goes blind. But essentially, what we're going to attend right now is uh, the uh, just a demonstrating point of how this works. So, for example, Dr. Go, I have loaded in Google. If we uh, select blocking images, then it's in refresh, then it is going to block pretty much all images. You can see no Dr. Glo Go logo, no images here. Containers doesn't really display anything. Oh, oh god, this is freaking like like how is it five FPS? And uh, yeah, that's pretty fun. And also you can block JavaScript. So for example, DuckDuckGo has this all non-JavaScript version, which is um, the most basic one you can possibly imagine. And uh, yeah, so right now what we're going to attempt, just like on any other web browser today, is running off YouTube. And uh, if we take Oh god, what the frick is this? What the actual f is this? It's like 2005 or something. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to how Chameleon redirects you to a goddamn mobile website. And yeah, if I try to remove this and go in, it's still going to redirect you to the mobile homepage. Holy sh and Look at the scroll bar. Look at the f scroll bar. Holy Jesus Christ. And if you take a look, it's freaking laggy. Like, Scrolling is like 5 FPS! Yeah, I will not go into a or basically or something, but anyway, also by the way, if we, if we remove JavaScript, then essentially we rendered this uh, page almost useless. If we run out of Java, uh, yeah, the website pretty much uh, does as a dogo. But um, another thing that I'm going to demonstrate to you is running off a video. So, for example, yes, another soccer video. Here we go again, and here it is. Uh, if we Blossy. God, this is an advertising, but I uh, let me tell you all this is going to be a really dreadful experience. Like, look at it, it's running off. Okay, mobile page looks, looks kind of cool, but uh, essentially, like, uh, this renders the shit unusable. It pretty much renders everything unusable. Like, Jesus Christ, even the advertising already 5 pfps. Holy shite. A local yeah, derby uh, on the south side oh, of the capital. The, uh, Madrid... actually isn't that bad compared to what was the advertising. Oh, it's running 720p. Let's plug in 1080p to see.
two thousand years later. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you can do on YouTube. And speaking about uh, extensions, like I haven't really prepared for this video because I basically film everything straight at once and I don't really care about anything else. But uh, essentially, there is an extension. It's like you can't use you can't use the modern uh, Fuzz Mozilla Firefox uh, add-ons uh, score. However, there are some plugins you can use. However, I don't really remember which site was it, uh, like where you can ex install extensions. But to let you, holy sh. Okay, everybody, welcome back. I basically had to spend like five minutes trying to contact Parallels and do all the necessary licensing stuff but anyway uh welcome back and we are going to continue off with our last browser for today's video which is pale moon and basically it's not like really pale moon it's a new moon which is a fork of the actual pale moon however yeah here we are as you can see new moon's not sent to default browser it's starting off pretty much perfectly but uh the uh whole page looks super 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 reminiscent to internet explorer if you have used one like take a look at the uh okay the ui looks okay i just uh, screwed it up it's basically like a i believe it's like the uh, older version of firefox if i remember like 38 or something but anyway as you can see they have an add-ons repository so that's really good we are connecting it straight to close it loaded really fast uh Oh god, I can already see what's going to happen. Extensions expand the capabilities of the browser. Themes allow you, oh god, they have themes, to personalize Pale Moon's visual aesthetic and plugins. Uh, they have free freaking extension add ons, you goddamn it. Plugins further extend the browser with specialized external components such as the uh, Adobe Skill Player. But uh anyway uh we're not going to let's try to search like something for example i really want to see how what how the black moon yes i'm a minimalist i really want to have pale moon oh oh here we go install add-ons only from others you trust i uh, trust all the uh old ones so we're going to restart it and take a look oh jeez, it looks really good it looks surprisingly good and if we take a look at all the extensions uh web development or something yeah it looks uh, kind of decent so right now the uh if we take a look at like oh god oh god stay you start me oh jesus christ and all the necessary bits and things you would need for example why in the goddamn thing i have to shop at best buy or staples like uh oh goodness gracious Okay, so let's try to experiment. For example, let's run uh, bbc.com, uh, the most uh, most infamous like uh, news or something. I, I don't know. Oh, oh God, it 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 runs perfectly fine. It run, it runs fine. Like there is some lag, but it's basically from my virtual machine. So everything looks fine. Everything looks fine. The web page is loading how it's supposed to do. Like the font isn't really the font really isn't the best. However. Uh, everything looks good. Scrolling is a bit weird because uh, I'm running a virtual machine, but everything uh, looks good. I can scroll, I can do anything I want. And uh, there is some lag, like transitioning or something. However, uh, the main task for this video is going to be to run YouTube.com. And let's see if it's going to redirect. No, it's not going to redirect us to the mobile phone page. Okay, what do we have here? Oh god, this is this is slower than my pal, I believe. Yeah, this is definitely slower than my pal. It definitely loads faster. Uh, everything here loads really, really slowly. And so we have come to the end of this video. Yeah, this was uh, really entertaining. We did delve into all the unnecessary drama of. Uh, Windows XP browsers and yeah recording took about 20 minutes so uh yeah surprise surprise this is the fastest video I have ever edited so funny so uh everybody thank you so much for tuning into this video uh you can like you can drop a sub uh, uh do pretty much anything you can to support my uh, me I don't have any patreons or anything and essentially anyway thank you so much for watching my name is GGYT uh catch you from Riga see you soon bye